Thank you, Chairman. Um, now that a huge amount of funding has been, been made available to Turkey, what different systems will they be putting into place to alleviate the migrant routes, in, routes into the EU? And what steps are they taking to prepare for the predicted further influx when the weather improves next spring, as well as the need to destroy the people smuggling routes? We're hearing very much about now, but I'm not hearing much about planning for the future. This funding is in part expected to help improve Turkey's borders, yet am I the only person to note the irony at the very summit that this financial package was agreed? Um, it also speeds up the time that Turkey will join Schengen. Uh, meaning that you simultaneously have taken action towards the eventual removal of these very same border controls with the promise of Turkey's eventual EU membership. Moving on, how much attention are both EU member states and our neighbours honestly paying to the 1951 Convention? It strikes me that some countries are deliberately ignoring the criteria of what constitutes a safe haven. As at one of the most northern parts of France in a camp at Pays de Calais, colloquially referred to as the jungle. We have 6,000 people, many of whom will have travelled through Western Balkans routes, and thus, may I say, through numerous safe countries who now seek to enter the United Kingdom. A British Muslim charity, the Human Relief Foundation, estimate that up to 80% of the people there are single male economic migrants. So I'd like to ask the French authorities, Chairman, why are they failing uh, to adhere to the 1951 Convention and the 1967 Protocol, which of course updated it from the post-World War II model. Thank you.